welcome to my craft room. My name is Tina. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm very excited today because we are going to start preparing to do the Harvest Cardigan Knit Along. Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry it's a little bit late, but we shall be starting the Harvest Cardigan by Tin Can Knits on the Friday the 21st of July. So start gathering your yarn and everything in preparation for that. So today I just wanted to run through the pattern, what you'll be needing and where to get the pattern so you can be all prepared, needles at the ready for when we start. If you don't want to start now, that's fine. You can wait until further on in the year. All these videos will be on a playlist so you can just watch them whenever you're ready. Perhaps you want to wait until the weather's cooler. So the link for the pattern will be below. If you just click on that, that will take you to the Tin Can Knits website so you can download your own pattern for free. So this pattern goes from naught to extra, extra, extra large, just like the other one did. So if you want to do a little cardigan, just like some people did the little flax, they were so cute, rather than doing a bigger one for yourself, then you can do that. So it's for any member of the family. You don't have to do an adult size. I shall be doing the size small medium, which is a chest of 35. The Nina, the model, apparently has got a 36 inch chest. So they recommend the size she went for is 35, so it's got negative ease. And that's the way I like my cardigans to be, so it's a bit more fitted. But if you wanted to go for a looser look, then if you just look at the chart on the side, then you can go for a looser one, depending on where you want it to be. So just measure something you're comfortable with in your wardrobe to see how big that is and go for that. The table, the, sh the sizes on the table are for the finished size. So don't go for what your bust size is, look at what the finished size is. So if you want it looser, then go for one that's a couple of inches bigger. If you want it like I do, fitted, then you can go for it smaller. But it's entirely up to you how you want the fit to be. So the yarn that's used in this is a worsted Aran weight yarn, so that's a thick yarn. It's the same weight yarn as we use for the flax if you did knit the flax jumper. So it's a chunkier knit. I did the last the flax jumper in a cotton to make it cooler. So I can use it for cool evenings in the summer. But this time I'm going for a 75% wool, 25% nylon blend. This one is Fusions by West Yorkshire Spinners. So that's the one I shall be using. So it's nice variegated. And it is called autumn because it's all autumn colours and that's what I'm thinking that I won't be using it now but I will be using it come September when I just want a cardigan to pull on when it's that in between weather there could be a nip in the air. So I'm thinking that would be a nice cardigan for the autumn. So it's knit from the top down in the round. So we start at the neck and then come down so it should that sort of yarn should give sort of variegated quite stripy look to it which I think would be interesting so you can go for any type of yarn you want as long as that it's the right gauge so the gauge is under where it says yarn on your pattern there is the gauge and on here it says 18 stitches and 26 rows for 4 inches and when you look when you're buying your yarn or ordering it online you will see that there is a box or it will tell you in the description what yours comes out as so mine comes out as 18 stitches but so or 24 rows so what that means is it's going to take more rows to get it right but I'm not worried about the rows I'm more about the width the stitches is the width so because things like the length and the sleeves I shall be measuring myself and doing it to what I want it to be rather than the set what it is in the pattern and also the length because I won't want it to stop at the wrong point 
where it all goes a bit pear-shaped, I'm not going to want it to cut me off at the wrong place, so I shall choose where I want the cardigan to stop. So that doesn't worry me. But I suggest you do a tension square, which is just do a square that's bigger than the four inches. So I did about 30 stitches square, and then you can use a ruler, and then you just count how many stitches in the four inches and that's all the tension square is just knit a row purl a row so that will give you the stocking stitch which is the same as you'll be doing when you knit in the round you'll be just knit, doing knit but it comes out the same so then you'll know what yours knits as and then just give it a little soak and dry it just pin it out or lay it flat and dry it and then just count just to make sure your stitch counts okay this turned out fine so I should be using the recommended needles if it turns out different then what you need to do is either go up or down a size of needle to correct the gauge because if it's not the right gauge it's going to turn out a totally different size so there's going to be a fit issue for you I will give clear instruction down below so you can see if you have more stitches, if you need to go up a size or down a size, just to clarify it. So, once you've got your gauge swatch, you also need your needles. If you did the flax, then you're all set because it's the same needles if you've got the right gauge. So, you'll be using the 4mm needles or and the 5mm needles. So... You're going to need those on a long cable. They're suggesting a 32 centimeter for the adult size. Pattern recommends you use DPNs for the sleeves, but I recommend you use a shorter circular one so you can just go round and round without messing about with the DPNs. So these are 10 inch, so I should write that down below as well. So all instructions, instead of saying everything's below, I've put all different all the information down below so you know. But yeah, I'll be doing mine on these. So literally, you can just do it like the body, going round and round without stopping. You can do that for the sleeves without using DPNs because I think it just makes it more complicated. I've also noticed on this pattern there's a provincial crochet cast on. So I will link a video below so you can see because I'm not a crocheter I've dabbled in a bit of crochet but I'm not a crocheter so you will need a crochet needle and I was just going to show you just in case you've not come across crochet before and you think <gasps> that means I can't do it no it doesn't because a crochet chain is all you need to do and that's easy and the only thing I found hard when I was learning to crochet about this was the tension but you're not going to need to worry too much about the tension because you're taking it out so you don't need to have good tension for this so I should just show you just simply how you do a crochet chain so you can see so literally a crochet chain you have a loop on your hook and then you just hook the yarn take it through the hole and you've made a chain and that is all you'll be doing so don't please don't be put off thinking it's crochet I can't do it because this is then taken out you use that to do your knitting on and then you take this off and so you've got a free edge to then do the band of the neck so please don't be put off with the crochet if you're not a crocheter so, so I'm going to link a video below so you can have a little practice of that before we start but once you pick it up as I say it's easy if you can do knitting you can make a crochet chain so please don't worry about that so that will be down below as well so that is for your chain to get started so that's it so you need your yarn you need your needles you need to do a square to make sure it's going to be the right size you will also need some stitch markers and a darning needle to sew in your ends. And that's it. Oh, I forgot to say this yarn that you're doing your 
the crochet cast on that you'll be doing you need to have a separate different yarn because you need to see this yarn is different and not part of the cardigan so that's why I've chosen the flax bit of one that I use for the flax because it's an Aran weight as well so you need a similar weight yarn for this so but just a scrap so if you haven't got any left over then if you try and if you know a knitter just get a scrap because all you're doing is a little bit so you don't need a ball you just need a scrap of yarn just to do a little bit for the back of the neck that's all you're doing so that is it we're all set I'm excited I hope you are too so this is going to be a week on Friday so you've got time to do your ordering or go into the shops and choose some lovely yarn as I say if you don't want to start it now then if you want to put this subscribe if you're not subscribed so you can just put it on watch later or a watch list or whatever so you can come back to it and it will be there as I say I'm going to do a playlist so if you wanted to look it up later you can but if you wanted to just have it for yourself so you don't forget about it later you can put it there for yourself and store it on your own channel so thank you for joining me I hope you join me in the knit along because we always have such fun and I love to see what you've made so I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.